And whenever, I've told this story before, but I've never gotten your side of this whole thing. And whenever you watch Aaron Rodgers, I assume like everybody else, and we've got a chance to chat, you're like, okay, this guy is a brainiac. Like, like not just a football IQ guy. Like, this guy is one of the smartest humans of all time. You actually had a chance to coach, like, one of the smartest humans to ever play in the NFL and Andrew Luck. And I've told this story before where the first day he got to OTAs because he had to get his degree in architectural engineering, which I think is a bazillion dollar paying job. Oh yeah. I think it's a big one. He had to graduate at Stanford even after being the number one pick. So he showed up a little bit late. Allegedly, the story goes that he checked, he made a check in the OTAs in the walkthrough, like the first one he was at, that the rest of the team didn't even know what it was. It was his first day on the practice field, his first day of practice, and he like checked out of a blitz. Was it at that moment? Was that true? And was it at that moment you're like, okay, we got like we got the guy. Like, is that immediately how that thing happened? And did that thing actually happen with Andrew Luck? Yeah, it, it happened, and uh, you know, uh, it just everything that we knew in the pre-draft process, what we've heard about Andrew flying out there with Coach Clyde and and uh, and BA and and doing that, and obviously because of the NFL rules and and graduation day. I mean, the guy couldn't come to OTAs and practice, and I think that rule is, is like, ridiculous. You know, Andrew probably had that architectural engineering degree or whatever it was before he ever enrolled at Stanford, you know. So, <laughs> Jesus, Lord, you know, half the, all, everybody, all that, what is there in the draft? 253, 255 players through seven rounds drafted. 90% of them are in, in school in the spring semester. They're off working out with, you know, in Florida and Texas and California getting ready for the draft. So, Anyway, yeah, so he shows finally shows up, and he's missed the lion's share of the whole offseason. No offseason program, no OT. He's made one rookie minicamp, and then he's gone. And he finally shows up. We get out to practice, and we're like you said, we're, we're in a walkthrough, and B.A. calls a play, and he goes to the line of scrimmage. He's getting everything set up, and all of a sudden it was alert, alert, opposite, opposite, makes his check. And T.Y., Reggie, Dwayne Allen, everybody in the back, you know, we had the whole offense over here, the whole defense over here, three lines and chains. I spent the whole day, get the F back, get the F back. I was the get back coach. And all of a sudden he rips out this this check, check, alert, alert, you know, and changes the whole play, changes the protection. You know, we go from a run to pass, pass to run, and there and everybody's like, Did he what the fuck did he just say? And what is that? We had to we had to blow the whistle, get him back in the huddle, because nobody knew what he was checking to. And we're figuring, okay. This guy is a genius. He is a brainiac. And, you know, so we just eventually put so much on his plate because he could handle it, you know. But it was it was crazy. Great story. B.A., though. B.A., they don't fucking know that yet, yeah. Andrew. Like, just B.A. Oh. Oh yeah, he started, he started MF, and you know everybody, you know, because none of the coaches had it on their deal for the install. It was nowhere near the install, you know. And he's like, "Get in the fucking huddle!" <laughs> God damn! And he, you know, he'd always go like this: "God damn, rookie motherfucker!" You know, he was out of there. Ba. You know, poor Ty and, and Dwayne didn't know the check. <laughs> oh my God. That year was amazing. What a run. What an absolute run. What a crew of humans. And uh, I was incredibly lucky to play for your team, Coach. We appreciate you every single week.